Hello everyone, my name is Mak Fazil Bila Kamasha and this is my video for ERC Final Zero Persuasive Speech. So, have you guys ever wondered if you could change the fiat money with something else? Something that is transparent, decentralized, very secure and easy to access? Well, thanks to Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of the first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, we can now enjoy all the things I mentioned earlier. So, people tend to hate things they don't understand. They just want to stick with some one system that they're already comfortable with, even though it can be incredibly corrupted or easily embezzled by someone. For instance, every change or evolution of currency, starting from buttering, gold and coin money, paper money, and plastic money, all faces individual bumps at first before people start to accept them. Cryptocurrency will undeniably follow the same road as them and will eventually be accepted worldwide. So from this statistic, we can see that global, that, that global crypto adoption has been growing equally or even faster than the internet adoption. Between 2012 and 2021, the price of Bitcoin has increased by over 540,000%. Bitcoin reached an annual growth rate of 60% in 2000, 2021, and the cryptocurrency market is predicted to grow with a compound annual growth rate of 56 0.4% from 2019 to 2025. As of 2023, we estimated global crypto ownership rates at an average of 4.2%, which over 420 million crypto users worldwide. The trend has its up and downs, but the result always shows a positive note for all crypto holders who believe in the process. Personally, I have been in the crypto industry for almost two years now. Thus, I have huge experience and vast knowledge on how it works and why we should implement it more effectively in real life usage. So, there are a number of reasons and advantages from replacing this outdated fiat currency with cryptocurrency. It is because that cryptocurrency is more transparent, accessible, and secure compared to fiat money. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the first reason, which is cryptocurrency is more transparent than fiat money. So cryptocurrency is more transparent than fiat money because it can record information in a way that makes it difficult or impossible to embezzle money or cheat the systems. Every transaction will be recorded in the blockchain and can be accessed by anyone who knows the recipient wallets or transaction hash. So it is impossible to cheat. You can check them on websites such as uh, BSC Scan, Ethereum Scan or Solana Scan. No company or government have control over it, so it cannot be influenced or corrupted, just like fiat money, where millionaires can easily embezzle and launder their money by transferring their assets to other tax-free country heaven, like the Bahamas. Secondly, every crypto coin has a certain amount of supply to determine its market capitalization and prices. Unlike paper money, cryptocurrency can be, cannot be overprinted by the government, which is going to cause major inflation in the upcoming years. Great example I can give you is US dollars for years have tried to manipulate the world trade currency, which is rumors about its strong currency strength, and also increase their interest rate to combat inflation and compete with gold. By using cryptocurrency, the risk of getting exploitation is almost zero because how the system works. Now let's move on to the next reason, which is cryptocurrency is more accessible than fiat money. So firstly, cryptocurrency is more accessible than fiat money because crypto coin is stored inside a personal wallet or a digital ledger which can only be accessed by the owner. The, the owner may deposit, withdraw and transfer for money at any given time. You can do it anywhere you want, in, inside your toilet, before you're sleeping, inside your car, anytime. Authorization can be done within seconds because the cryptocurrency blockchain node is very fast. Examples of crypto wallet I can give you is Trust Wallet, Metamask, and Coinbase. All of these are certified and safe to use. Secondly, crypto coin is not controlled by anyone and 100% owned by the wallet owner. In every conventional bank or any savings agency where you store your fiat money, you have a daily limit on how much you can withdraw or transfer. This is certainly not the case in cryptocurrency. No one ever going to call or reject your transaction if you withdraw or receive a big amount of money, like in a bank. Bank can be very busy body, you know? So it's time to move on to the next one, which is how cryptocurrency is more secure than fiat money. So cryptocurrency is more secure than fiat money is because major cryptocurrency chain is very decentralized and remain operation at any given situation. Unlike fiat bank, 
and files agency, cryptocurrency will not face the same problem when it comes to wildly crisis like global pandemic and world war. Unlike fiat money, in bank and funds agency, cryptocurrency will never go bankrupt and you will never lose your, money, your funds. You can see how fiat currency weaknesses in worldly crisis when it brings the collapse of banking system due to Taliban occupation in Afghanistan and bankruptcy for uh, in Amsterdam, Amsterdam Trade Bank due to Russian and Ukraine war. The effect has made many people lose their funds and hit rock bottom financially. Secondly, a crypto coin provides a lot more privacy to its holders. Every crypto wallet doesn't require you to provide your name, ID number, or phone address. It only has a long string of numbers and letters. Unlike debit cards that expose your name, CVV, and card number, crypto wallet has its own unique private key strings and word phrases that only the owner has access over it. So look at the benefits we get from using this. Cryptocurrency as a trading currency that should encourage people to be more honest and transparent with their money. So, right now, you may be at a stage where you might wonder how to get involved or started in cryptocurrency. So, there's actually three stages that you need to consider, which is preparation stage, learning stage, and execution stage. At the first stage, which is the preparation stage, you need to imagine yourself having enough capital and confidence to involve yourself in crypto. If you have that prepared, we can go into the second stage, which is the learning stage. We can start by learning the fundamentals of support and resistance, chart movement, background and utility of the coin that you want interested to invest in, so you can be more confident in it in the long term. So if you already educated yourself enough, you can go into the third lesson or the third, uh, the third stage, which is the execution stage. We can open a crypto wallet on trusted central exchange like KuCoin and Binance to start your crypto journey. So for conclusion, cryptocurrency can revolutionize the monetary system to, to become more honest and transparent. We will get easy access to our money without disturbance from other organizations like banks. And with that, I think you guys finally realize the potential of cryptocurrency compared to that outdated fiat money. So you guys need to start normalizing cryptocurrency as a trading currency now to start a new chapter of a more digitalized and transparent currency system. I hope I, con I, hope I already pursued you guys to pursue cryptocurrency and uh, make sure cryptocurrency one day will be uh, official currency of our country. That's all for me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.